Hey guys, it's Tiffany from Super Easy Math. Today's Einstein activity says Aisha is guessing a three number code. For each guess, she receives a clue based on that guess. For our first row of numbers, our clue is one number is correct and in the correct place. For our second row of clues, we have two numbers are correct but in the wrong place. For our third row of clues, we have nothing is correct. And for our fourth row of clues, we have two numbers are correct, but in the wrong place. Well, the first thing I note about these numbers is our largest number is six. So the only possible numbers that could be anywhere in this combination would be the numbers zero, one, two, three. There is no four, so we don't need to include it. Five and six. Now the clue that stood out to me the most is the third row's clue. So if nothing there is correct, that means none of those numbers are a part of our code. So that means our code does not include a three and our code does not include a one. So because we know we're dealing with a three digit number code, we already have our numbers just from using that first clue. We know that our numbers are gonna be zero, two, and five because those are the only numbers that's left. The only thing we need to do is figure out what order they need to be in. Let's start back at the top and consider the clues again. The first clue says one number is correct and in the correct place. Well, we know six is not one of the numbers. So that means we're not talking about the third digit place number in our code. We also know that one is not a part of our code so it has to be the two. So I know between what we figured out previously and this clue that two has to be in the first position of our three digit code. The second clue says two numbers are correct but in the wrong place. Well again, I know six is not a part of it. So we're dealing with the five and the two, which makes sense. We already figured out that the two is our first digit. So we know that this is not in the correct place. And then as far as the five goes, the problem tells us that it's in the wrong place. That would mean that the middle digit of our three digit code can't be the five. So that sounds like it has to be in the third place. Then if we go back to the fourth clue, it says two numbers are correct, but in the wrong place. Again, the three would not be utilized and the two correct numbers would be the five and the zero, but they're both in the wrong place. So that means it would be zero five for our last two digits. So our three digit code is two zero five. Guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And as always, here's tomorrow's Einstein activity. See if you can solve it before I do, then comment down below with what you think the answer is. Then head over to supereasymath.com and click on math videos. Once you're there, you can have access to all of my videos where I teach everything in order with notes the way you need it.